Hey guys, what's up? It's me Brianna and I'm back with another video today and as you can tell by the title of this video It's going to be an honest review on Zaffle.com, Zaffle.com, however you want to say it uh, Personally, I pronounce it Zaffle, uh, but this is going to be an honest try on haul slash review on their products I got a bunch of clothes from Zaffle that I picked out and I thought I could do a video showing you guys all the clothes giving my honest opinions if I think um the quality is good because their clothes do run for really cheap. If you guys don't know, Zaffle is just like a wholesale website. Um, and most of their clothes come from China. Their sizing is really weird. And sometimes some of their clothes are like a ripoff. Sometimes some of their clothes are really cute and good. So in this video, we're putting their clothes to the test. I'll be showing you guys all the clothes like a normal haul, but then I'll also be trying them on for you guys. So let's go ahead and jump on in to the video. Also, if you're not subscribed, I would love it if you join the family. I post videos every week. So go ahead and click that subscribe button to become a part of the family. And I hope Hope you stick around so anyways jumping into this ginormous zoffel review and these are my 100% honest opinions you guys uh, I have a lot of sweaters I picked out a lot of sweaters because I figured it's fall uh, I need a lot of sweaters so this is what this one looks like it's green and then it just has this in the back and honestly this sweater feels really nice I really like the quality of it and I like the fit of it as well it's not like super bulky it's very slim fitting and this was like super cheap I think it was like $12 by the way everything will be linked down below that I mentioned. And like I said, this also came in gray as well. So I picked it up in gray. It's just the same sweater and it has like that tie in the back and it's really cute and it's really flattering. I really like the style of it. And for the price point, uh, it's actually pretty soft. I really like the material as well. So um, I actually got a lot of gray sweaters. I got another sweater and it looks like this. And this one's a little bit short on me. The arms on these aren't as long as I would like them to. So I definitely feel like I would have to layer this with like a jacket. But again, the quality is not too bad it, it's like that choker v neckline sweater that weird type of thing i don't really know how i feel about it uh this is kind of tight around my neck so it's not my favorite thing i would probably have to say um this isn't my favorite just because like the length of it i'm just not vibing with it i mean it's cute i'll probably give it away to one of my friends it's a little bit shorter uh but it's just not for me really so then i got a another gray sweater from zaffle and this is what this one looks like uh it's just your basic gray sweater Sweater. again I'm not a fan of how short these run and I will say their sizing is pretty weird so I'm usually a small and in pretty much everything that I ordered I got a medium because I know I've heard their stuff run small and I read all the reviews on everything that I picked out to make sure I knew what I was getting and I only got stuff that had pretty good reviews everything that I purchased had pretty good reviews um, and a lot of the times in the reviews people will say if the stuff runs small or not I don't remember this one having a review that said it ran small but for some reason it's just so short and I like my sweaters to be like baggy and long. Um, I don't know, the material's fine. It's not itchy or anything, but I would just prefer this to be like a little bit longer. If you're looking to order a long sweater, don't get this one or you could try sizing up i don't know if the length would matter if you sized up or not anyways but i would prefer this to be a little bit longer and the neck's kind of big too i don't know i'm not like a fan of that and how big the neck is it's all right I also got that same sweater in this maroon color and it's um, a little bit different. It's weird because it was the same sweater but like the tag on the back is like completely different than the tag that was on the gray sweater so that's kind of funny but like it's pretty much the same sweater. Again, it still is short so it'd definitely be something I would wear with like either like mid-rise jeans or high-waist jeans. It's not bad. The color's okay. Um, in the picture, it definitely looked deeper, like more of like a deep burgundy and less of like this brighter maroon color. I don't know. I thought it was going to be a lot more wine red colored as opposed to this. So I don't know. The color was kind of deceiving, but it's still cute. Again, I'm just not a fan of like the sleeves and stuff for my long arms and long torso. You know, I would like it just a little bit longer. So if you're in the tall family, uh, definitely size up in this. I got mine in a medium and I'm usually a small, but if you're in the short family, you could probably get by with, I would say your regular size. Okay, and then I got this cardigan and I'm kind of iffy about this cardigan. So first of all, it's extremely heavy. Like you guys, no joke, this cardigan is so heavy. And this was a $35, so it was a bit more expensive than most of the stuff on Zaffle is. Um, usually their stuff is pretty cheap, but when it comes to like jackets and sweaters, I noticed that that stuff runs a little bit more expensive. It tends to be more expensive than the rest of their stuff on their website. So I paid a pretty, I, would, I wouldn't I would say a pretty penny, but for Zaffle, this was like 
a pretty penny um so yeah i don't know 44 dollars, 35 dollars, i think somewhere around there for a sweater and to be honest it's kind of itchy it's a little itchy i couldn't wear this alone it's like that acrylic material like there's a lot of that material in it i think it's like acrylic i don't even know if it has a tag in here it doesn't even have a tag in here but it's just super thick and it's just kind of itchy it has pockets i think actually i could be totally wrong it doesn't even have pockets so that's like a really big letdown um any sweater that doesn't have pockets i don't really like it's more like a cardigan i don't know i like it. it's it's okay but i definitely feel like it would just make me way too hot and it's just really heavy um i like my cardigans to be kind of lightweight but still warm but this one's just like too heavy and the sleeves are kind of awkward like they're really big up here and then they just kind of cuff down there and i don't know about you guys but i like my sweater sleeves to be huge and cover my hands because i love sweater falls <laughs> so moving on to the rest of the stuff that i ordered um is mostly like jackets and pants and a couple of shirts so i ordered two of the same jackets because i really liked the style i don't know what you call these jackets i don't want to sound stupid but they're like they kind of remind me of a windbreaker, but they're not that material. It's almost like a cotton rain jacket, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, I feel like once it's washed, it will be a little bit softer, but I got this like muted blush pink color in a way, and then it just has like the logo or whatever, like the sizing on the bottom, and then it has pockets, and it's honestly not bad, you guys. It's like one of those half zip things. This was like $14, I think, so it honestly, it honestly wasn't too bad. I thought the color was going to be a bit more pink. Um, I'm not disappointed. This is pretty 10 out of 10. I would give this a 10 out of 10 because I would actually wear this. I like it because it looks very vintage and I just love the thrifted look of it. Uh, that's kind of what these remind me of. And then again, I just got it in a blue color. This is probably my favorite one right here is this blue one because I love it again. Um, it's the same one that you guys just saw in the try on uh, the pink one and it has the same logo at the bottom. But I feel like this would look so good with a pair of black leggings and then just some slip on bands or rain boots and it can be layered as well and the material again it's pretty warm so i feel like this material would definitely keep you warm it's thick but it's not too thick so again for the price point this is definitely a 10 out of 10 i would give this five stars i really recommend it i haven't washed it yet so i feel like it might shrink um but i do also like how the bottom has like sort of this kind of like cuffed style so it kind of cinches at your hips which is really nice so yeah i really like these i'll definitely get some good use out of these too so the next thing I got I'm kind of iffy about. I don't know how I really feel about them. They're like these dressy pants. Um, they look like this. It's really hard to show on camera. They're like this khaki color and they cinch at your waist and they're like the flowy kind. Now on me, these are short. I'm not gonna lie. They're kind of like high waters on me. So I don't really like them that much just because I would have to wear like taller boots with them. Um, so I don't know. They're okay. It's definitely not what I expected. It come with like this tie that I still have to figure out how to loop around like almost like a little belt and it like ties in the front, but I don't know. The material's okay. It's, it's pretty soft. Um, I, you could definitely get by with this, but I would definitely not wear this now because it's like 20 degrees outside and I would probably freeze. So it definitely be something I would have to layer up, but I don't know. It's all right. It's not what I thought it would be, but it's definitely something that I could probably get use out of, but just not in the winter winter more in like the fall and the springtime but then the next piece that I got I actually got to hopefully go with those pants but now that I'm thinking about it that looks absolutely ridiculous because I thought this top was going to be more cream colored and it's not cream colored it's straight up white it's just this long sleeve top and when I ordered this I thought it was going to be cotton but it's like stretchy spandex you guys like it's literally like do you see that I I don't I don't know and it's the weirdest thing because I don't know it's just weird and it's it's not that see-through which i guess is good since it's white but it looks really short it's kind of tight on me and i got this in a medium and i usually am a small again i don't know how i feel about it i think it's very out there it's very bright i probably wouldn't actually wear this on the daily and it doesn't go as good as i thought it would with those pants because again on the picture it looked more cream colored but in the mail when i got it in Obviously, you guys, you can see it's white, so I don't know. Uh, I guess be careful when ordering because looks can be deceiving on Zaffle. Something might look one color and then you're going to get it in the mail and be like, wow, that is definitely blue, not red. So, <laughs> yeah, it could be a completely different color. I mean, cream and white are pretty close together, but like the picture totally looked more of like a tan. And I was going to pair it with that. Like, this is totally definitely white. So only downside is that. And just the material is kind of weird. Like, I usually I wouldn't wear a spandex shirt. I don't know. That's just not really my style. 
This is probably like two stars out of five. I don't know, not digging it that much. So this next shirt that I got, I actually really like, and it's pretty soft cotton, and it looks like this, and the shirt says, not today, and honestly, guys, this is my attitude every morning that I wake up for class, not today, don't want to do it, don't feel like doing it, <laughs> so this shirt was perfect for me, it is a little bit short, and it's kind of like a boxy fit, um, I don't know, but I definitely feel like it's something cute that I could wear around the house, or just go out to run errands in under like a cardigan or something, kind of like one of those throw on shirts. Uh, I wish I probably would have sized up in it. I got a small, I probably could use a medium, but overall I really like the shirt. It's pretty nice. The next two tops that I got instantly reminded me of a Brandy Melville. And it was funny because when I got it in the mail, you guys, if you guys know Brandy Melville, you know they sell tops like this. This is the tag that came on the shirt, you guys. It looks like this. It says Brandy Mervelor, or however you would pronounce that. So, I mean, knock off Brandy Melville. Not bad. It's definitely a little short, so this would definitely have to be something that I wear under things. Uh, I could probably pull it out in the spring slash summer, but for now, I don't know. It's all right. It's not what I thought it was going to be. Um, yeah, I don't know. And I also got it in this color. This one's a bit more stretchy. It kind of has like an uncomfortable elastic right here on the shoulders, like where it sits, like, like that across. Um, so I don't know. I'll probably wear this occasionally, but I think this is going to be something I pull out in the summer because right now I can't really show my midriff or I'm going to freeze my butt off. But yeah, this is basically just your knockoff Brandy Mellow little crop tops. So these next things I'm really excited about because I have a bunch of jackets and hoodies here because yes, this stuff I can wear in the winter and I was skeptical when ordering this stuff because it was like more on the pricier side, especially the jackets. So I got this hoodie and you guys, I really don't, I don't really prefer this hoodie because it literally feels like foam. It feels like foam is inside this hoodie, like it feels squishy and I wish I could just like rip it open and show you guys, but it feels like there's literally foam in this hoodie, like it feels spongy. I don't know. I don't like it. I ordered it and I thought it would just be like a cotton hoodie. It's it, it's it's not a look you guys I just don't know it just feels weird and I feel like I wouldn't want to wear it because it just feels weird so next I got a few jackets which I'm pretty excited about because these actually look like pretty good quality I think this one right here that I have this denim one was $24.99 I want to say so it wasn't too bad and honestly you guys I'm not disappointed this is actually a really cute jacket this is a 10 out of 10 for me I sized up I got it in a medium and it's really cute I'm really enjoying it I like it. It's a little bit oversized, which is awesome for me because I love anything that is oversized. You guys already know. Um, so I really like this jacket. The material's nice. It's thick enough to wear in the fall and in the winter time. And it's just, it's nice for the price point. Um, I really like it. So props is awful because this jacket is actually awesome. That kind of makes up for the green hoodie being a little bit of a fail. I don't know. That spongy material was just not something I would go for. Then I picked up another denim jacket and this one's really different because it has a hood on the back. The only downside is it has this weird like patch on it on the hood that I, I don't really like. Um, I ordered it because it had patches on it so it has like all these patches all over the hoodie so it has some on the arm and they're like just these random numbers. Uh, the material of the denim isn't great and the buttons are like they're really noisy so like when you if I shake it just like this you can literally hear like all the buttons so I don't know if I like that too much but overall it's all right I would probably give this like a three out of five just because I don't know it's okay um it's a little different it's like a hoodie built into a jacket which is kind of cool but I don't like how the buttons shake I feel like walking down the halls it would literally just be like so the last two things I got from Zaffle um, for this haul were jackets and this one is just a suede jacket, a tan suede jacket and now mind you that I've ordered jackets from Zaffle in the past and every single time I've ordered they came in and they were actually way too small. This one is just a tad bit too small for my liking but overall it's a nice jacket this was like $35 I think something like that their jackets are more expensive on their website as opposed to all of their other stuff so it's not bad because usually a jacket like this you would pay probably over a hundred dollars for if it was from like Nordstrom or something so it's not too bad on the price point but I do feel like this could be a little bit bigger um, so I don't know it's all right and then it just has like a belt at the bottom um, but again I feel like it could be a little bit bigger I would 
probably give this a three out of five as well just because i'm not too sure how i really feel about it but i like the color and the suede feels really nice it's pretty soft and lastly the last thing that i got from zaffle is this um leather jacket this black leather jacket because i was really intrigued and honestly you guys this is a pretty nice leather jacket it's probably nicer than the ones that i own that i have from like forever 21 and stuff i think this one was like 30 something dollars again everything will be linked pretty much down below in the description box but this is pretty nice i like how it fits i got this in a medium again like i said everything that i got was mostly a medium i sized up a size i recommend sizing up one to maybe two sizes and the stuff that you order from here especially if it's like clothes or jackets or leather jackets like this that are going to probably run a little bit smaller since they're being made in china and stuff like that um it does have kind of like a funny leather smell that I don't really like um so I don't know I don't know how I feel about that but overall I like the look of the jacket and it's a cute layering piece for the fall but yeah overall you guys this is awful haul was pretty successful I had more hits and than I did misses so that was nice um the only really downside was that super foamy jacket that felt like foam was inside of it and then the buttons on that denim jacket I really didn't like the pants I really didn't like and then of course the white top that was supposed to be cream um so yeah there's just a couple things to kind of watch out for when ordering from them my honest review is just be careful I don't think they're a bad company I don't think it's a scam I mean I don't think they're trying to rip you off or anything but I definitely would be careful on what you order because some things can be overpriced and then you can get them in and it totally doesn't look like the picture but for the most part everything that I ordered looked like the picture it's just I would read into the details and like what's in the fabric and stuff because some of the stuff I ordered I thought it was going to be cotton and then it totally wasn't so I would just pay more attention when ordering so you know exactly what you're getting from them um but I really recommend their jackets I like all of them I probably wouldn't get their tops as much or their sweaters just because some of them do run short on me and it's not you know good for my tallness but if you're short go right ahead overall my honest review is i like it i like the clothes that i got for the most part some of them i won't be keeping some of them i will i might be returning a few things that i don't like but other than that i'm pretty pleased with everything and i really hope that you guys like this video if you would like to see more hits and miss misses try on hauls with other companies let me know who down below and i'll definitely do that for you guys but i love you guys all so much i'll see you in my next video i hope you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already all right bye guys